<clears throat> All right, so I think we are almost two weeks since my last update. Um, I don't know, not this past weekend, but the previous was kind of crazy. And then coming into the week, uh, just not a great week for me. Um, so long story short, was it last Wednesday? I think it was last Wednesday morning, I woke up and I was kind of feeling like, I, I don't know, my guy, I, I think something feels off, looks off, like with my right nipple, I feel like maybe there's some gyno there, talk to a buddy, and he's like, it's all in your head, don't worry about it. I'm like, ah, maybe it is. It wasn't anything that I conclusively felt was there. And then Thursday morning I woke up and it's very, mild but it was enough where i'm like all right no for sure something happened there's there is certainly a mild gyno uh forming and i'm not gonna do my shot today and and i'm done until i get this figured out so my immediate response just kind of that uh i don't know gut reflex type of thing i was thinking to myself i'm i'm done i'm not gonna do trt it's not for me my body doesn't like it i don't want to do this I've been feeling bloated and you know even though mentally I felt good my workouts have been probably not as good on average I get great pumps but aside from that I just don't feel awesome in the gym and I don't like feeling bloated I'm done with this and uh, after taking some time though I'm like but there were some benefits so maybe it's worth talking to the doctor let me see if it's something I can figure out so I talk with the doctor and he recommends that I take tamoxifen. He tells me that should be uh, basically that it will help more target the estrogen in the breast tissue. Uh, I looked into it a little bit. I guess it is a breast cancer drug, not something I'm not familiar with a lot of these pharmaceuticals. So I have to do a lot of reading afterwards. Uh, I did find, I believe there's something on PubMed that actually uh, did go into tamoxifen versus Arimidec or Arimidex versus uh, Riloxifene for gyno. And uh, Riloxifene was the best, but Riloxifene also sounded like it was the most likely to potentially hurt, so I'm picking up my calluses here, um, potentially hurt your, like, your own testosterone production. Um, but it definitely seemed like it would be the best in terms of gyno. Since I didn't have anything strong, the doctor rented, recommended the tamoxifen, I'm like, all right, We'll try that and what he had said was we might be able to do this as a short-term thing just for a few weeks get everything back in check and then you won't have to worry about it anymore but this might just be something that we're going to have to do some sort of aromatase inhibitor because this is how you're going to respond um i did discuss with him like doing the so this is the first time i've talked to the doctor about and he didn't recommend it but he did acknowledge, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the first time I've talked to him about what I had read about with the uh, daily subcutaneous shots. So he did not recommend it. He said he didn't see a need for that, but he did acknowledge subcutaneous is going to absorb a little bit more slowly. So that should help mitigate any sort of the estrogenic effects as well as um, the regular shots. So the smaller dose more regularly, he was saying even just three to four times a week instead of one to two, would help mitigate that so a daily as well as subcutaneous he did did acknowledge would be the best to help mitigate uh any sort of estrogenic effects he said at 160 milligrams ish he didn't think that that should be necessary he even felt at 200 that shouldn't be necessary but at the same time he's also telling me possibly you'll need to be on some sort of aromatase inhibitor for as long as you're taking trt um so that wasn't something I was interested in. He acknowledged that that could increase my LDL, it could decrease my HDL, you know, so throw my cholesterol levels out of whack. And, you know, I figure if it's doing that, it's probably doing more. Uh, and I just don't want to be throwing in a whole bunch of pharmaceuticals to counteract other things I'm doing. That has never really been the way I've lived my life. Um, you know, I'm even reluctant with taking the ulcerative colitis meds. So and I, I take as little as I can and, and try and avoid, uh, avoid taking them. I've gone occasionally if things were going well enough for me, years without. And honestly, sometimes I'll still go days or weeks without. And I just try and listen to my body. And if I ever feel like things are 
bothering me a little bit more, then I'll you know start taking them again. Um, I'm not advocating any of that. I'm just saying I, I don't like the idea of you know just pumping myself full of pharmaceuticals to fix a health problem, um, which I know sounds uh, I don't know a little bit. I don't want to say hypocritical. I don't think that's exactly the word I'm looking for, but instead of fumbling over it, I'll just continue. Uh, might not sound right considering, you know, trying the TRT for somebody who has mildly low testosterone. But again, the only thing that kind of pushed me over the edge with this, it wasn't just the health benefits. It was the, you know, the fact that I do bodybuilding. I love bodybuilding. And I was curious if on just a TRT dose, I could get some performance benefits and what that would be. Um, you know, I, I've contemplated taking steroids since I was a kid. I always decided it wasn't for me. Um, but with this being something that I knew enough people who have been doing TRT, who seem to be healthy and fine and their blood work looked good and all that, the idea of working with the doctor and looking into, as I mentioned before, possibly it could help with some other stuff I was dealing with health-wise, I decided, okay, let me give this a shot. But again, I don't think I would have decided to do that if it weren't for bodybuilding. So it needed to be both. I know I've addressed that a bunch of times. I hate to be a broken record, but anyway. Um, so yeah, that was kind of what he said. And I was like, well, maybe I'll give it a shot. I'll do the short term. If the guy starts to come back, then I'll, I'll quit then. You know, I don't want to be on an aromatase inhibitor long term. But let me see if this little short-term bout knocks it out and then maybe I'm okay. Because he said potentially I could be in the clear after that. Um, so fast forward, they send me an invoice for a 20-week prescription of the tamoxifen. When I reached out to see what that was about, it was like, well, just in case you do need to stay on it, we wanted you to have it. I'm like, well, that's not how I want to do this. Uh, I don't want to stay on it. So I'm, I'm more likely to discontinue the testosterone than to just add in the aromatase inhibitor. Uh, now, I guess I would like to preface as well, the idea of taking a, an aromatase inhibitor never bothered me when I was younger and I contemplated the idea of doing like steroid cycles because it was a short-term thing. I understood there was health consequences with it, but I felt like in the short term, you know, you could help, you could kind of mitigate that. But as a lifelong thing, the, the concept of that to me, I'm just like, I'm not interested, right? That was basically, we'll leave it at that. I wasn't interested in doing it forever. If this was just something where I was doing like a 12 week cycle and then I was going to be off for eight to 12 or whatever, and I was, you know, bouncing back and forth, I might've been more open to it. But the idea of just take this forever, I don't like that. I didn't feel good about it. So I'm like, I'm not, not interested. And I know we were going to do follow-up blood work and all of that to make sure everything looked okay, but still, I don't know. I also just don't like the idea of continuing to add drugs into my body to counteract what other drugs are doing. That just seemed, I don't know, didn't feel like health to me. So, anywho, um, they came back with a, a new invoice that was about 55 percent of the cost of the 140 day supply they originally invoiced me for, but for now only 24 days. And I felt like that was my, uh, I don't know, my message I needed, right? To decide I'm not doing this. Like it made me feel much less confident with the company. Um, and you know one could just it felt so much more and obviously they're in it for profit right everybody every company in the world anybody who says that they're they're not starting a company for profit it just it's it doesn't make sense right businesses to make money i understand that i respect that i have no issues with it but something like that where it just felt like this is so hardcore about the profit you went from 185 dollars for 140 days to $95 for 24 days, you just want my money and you do not give a crap about me. And it just, it felt so, I don't know. I just, because of where I was at, because I was so uncertain and because I had expressed this and then being, you know, kind of getting that interaction with them, I'm like, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm done with this. I'm not doing it. Uh, so I talked to a few friends and kind of got their 
I don't know, their thoughts because it was something that was still pretty emotional for me. You know, I, I did feel really good. You know, I was mentally uh, very alert. I had great energy. My sleep had been phenomenal. And I was certainly starting to fill out a little bit. And I was curious how that was going to go longer term, you know, where I would be in 12 weeks, 16 weeks, 20 weeks. Um, because, you know, I don't think I'm done with this whole bodybuilding thing yet. And then there was also the part of me that was like, crap, I've never competed in any of the natural federations and my reasonings for it were I had my own goals in the NPC, but I'm like, and now I just took testosterone for five weeks. And so now I would not ever feel right considering competing in the natural ranks, but I'm like, but I'm certainly not going to be competitive in the NPC naturally. Like I already kind of, I mean competitive, but I'm not going to make it to the IFBB naturally. How about that? I, I think that's very unlikely at this point. Um, so it was like, I feel like I just screwed myself here. Like I can't go compete in the natural federations and I didn't really get anything out of this. And I'm like, this sucks. Um, and then also, you know, the, the money investment. Uh, so there's a lot of mixed emotions on it all. And after talking to a few of my friends, I think what I've decided for now is I'm going to take at least a few weeks. I'm going to wait and see if this it's the right nipple dissipates. Um, I'm hoping it does. I've noticed in just what Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So four today is my fifth day without, um, you know, taking a shot and in just that short a period of time, my complexion has already started to clear up. Like I haven't had any new pimples form. Um, the ones I have are definitely drying up, clearing up. Um, I've also noticed that I feel much less bloated. Uh, but the other thing I notice is my shoulder and elbow were always kind of tight and that was almost completely gone and that's starting to come back a little bit. Um, I also noticed a little bit less of a pump when I was working out today. So interesting, like how, how quick those little things start to change already. Uh, but I love the not feeling bloated. You know, I, it was an emotional weekend for me. Uh, my emotional comfort food, uh, would be, that was redundant maybe, but my comfort food has always been cookies and I ate a lot of cookies over the weekend, uh, an obnoxious amount. <laughs> I probably had, if I had to ballpark six to 7,000 calories worth of cookies this weekend. And I still am down two pounds from what I woke up at Thursday morning. So, uh, I would say significantly less bloated to eat like that and lose weight. I am going to, by the way, uh, share a little video at the end of this, the, uh, far, well, looking at your screen, the far left will be me today after my workout, the middle one, the middle portion of the video is going to be, I think me, the, it was last Wednesday or Thursday, I forget, but it was, uh, I think it was last Wednesday. Yeah. Me last Wednesday. So it was the last day that I had actually done my, my daily dose of the testosterone. Um, and I do feel like only in little bits here and there, like certain angles, a little bit in my shoulders and certain things, but I do look a little bit fuller. Both of those are post-workout. And then the video on the furthest right is going to be me last Friday. That's pre-workout and it's also a little bit different lighting. Um, but that would be the similar lighting that I've been doing my uh, check-ins with. So uh, body weight today was about 210 this morning. Um, my heaviest morning weight, I was up to about 212. So uh, I had not been paying as much attention to my weight. And I noticed last week I was continuing to fill out a bit more. Um, but again, just feeling fairly bloated and uh, the, the nipple sensitivity increasing. And then, like I said, the, the gyno popping up at the end. And I just don't want to deal with that. So um, anyway, yeah, I decided after a lot of kind of thinking about it, talking about it, working through it. Um, and this is why I haven't posted anything a little bit because I wanted to know where I was at before I talked about it, but I'm going to wait and see if this clears up and resolves itself. And if it does, I might see how I feel at just a hundred milligrams, um, of testosterone weekly. And because I 
already have the testosterone like right I did the whole process I and um, if that goes well if I'm feeling good um, I don't know I'll go from there I obviously I know I can't do 160 uh, I'd imagine 140 would also be a problem but if I'm not having any issues with 100 I might try like 120 but I think that would probably be the peak for me you know it was maybe about 120 milligrams of testosterone a week um, and then just see how I feel uh, if I still feel good you know mentally maybe if I feel a little bit better physically if I'm less prone to feeling bloated um, a friend of mine was telling me he thinks you know in talking to him again he thinks that uh, the cypionate is part of the problem that uh, he feels that when he had tried cypionate in the past that he does not go through a doctor for his um, because I don't know if doctors offer propionate but that's also his motivation not to uh, but he said when he had tried cypionate he felt like he was getting a lot more of those estrogenic effects and that he feels that he can do a pretty moderate dose uh, that he doesn't have to go super low with the propionate and he does not or I think that's propionate anyway um, that he thinks he can go you know a little bit more aggressive on the dosing with that without any issues but if I can't get that from a doctor I don't uh, I don't think I'll be getting it so I don't know this is uh, kind of disappointing for me I really wanted to see how all of this was going to pan out but I told myself going into it that if I won if I started seeing gyno like I was done I promised myself I'm like I'm not going to get gyno I'm not going to have to have surgery and have that removed like I'm just I'm not going down that path I know a lot of guys who've done it I understand maybe it's not the biggest thing in the world but you know it's still surgery at the end of the day right and I'm not interested in putting myself in a position where I'm basically knowing I'm going to have to get surgery I'd rather not do that um, so yeah anyway so for right now I am not taking my testosterone anymore um, I think just because it'll be interesting I might check in still uh, I'll probably not how about that? I will go ahead and continue to check in maybe every week or two and talk about how I'm feeling uh, without taking the testosterone if I notice any sort of lull right because I was enhanced for uh, five weeks that's long enough that I'd imagine right in, I was thinking it was like between a week and a half and two weeks that I was noticing the energy boost and the better sleep so I'd be curious to see if my sleep starts to get worse uh, if I start to feel more lethargic uh, if I get the brain fog back kind of how all that's gonna go um, and I guess that's another thing if I just keep feeling good then maybe I just will throw that stuff well I don't know if I could throw it in the trash and have to figure out what <laughs> how exactly you properly dispose of that but you get what I'm saying uh, I would I don't know maybe just bring it into a pharmacy or something doesn't matter point is uh, maybe I will not go ahead and continue if I'm still feeling great um, you know because maybe if that's the case it's just isn't meant for me but uh, like I said I'm still a little bit on the fence with it I just I know I don't want gyno and uh, I also wasn't really loving feeling bloated or having uh, you know teenage like pimples again so I don't mind feeling less bloated and having the complexion clear up a bit uh, in the meantime and I guess we'll see how I feel other than that I will say quickly before I pull this video up working out today I definitely didn't get as much of a pump as I had been getting but I felt incredibly strong um, is strong if not stronger than I've ever felt in my life and that is not something that I would say I've been feeling for the past few weeks so it was interesting to me that um, I had been generally feeling weaker like struggling things I was hitting for 8 to 10 I was struggling to get 5 or 6 with and then today excuse me I was hitting basically all PR numbers now maybe a lot of it was psychological just because I didn't feel so bloated and I felt better I felt more like me I don't know but it was interesting nonetheless so uh, that is that 
I'm gonna go ahead and throw this video up and um, I don't know my opinion like I said I, I think I was looking a little bit fuller in that middle video uh, than I was today which would be the video on the left and I mean not like a massive difference but I do feel like I'm already just maybe a teensy bit deflated uh, which is a little disappointing would have been interesting to see how that panned out but such is life so here's a video and I will talk to you guys in a week or two.